Hey guys, this is Jorge from the Big Bang Cut Podcast. I'm here with my co-host Adrian. So what technology should be uninvented? That is the topic of today's episode. Um, so Adrian, the, the world, I mean, we kind of discussed this before in previous episodes <laughs> um, last year. Um, there's a lot of, the world has a lot of products that the, the people really don't need. <laughs> yeah. um, what products are those in your mind? Hmm. I mean, when you told me the, the subject of this podcast, I started thinking and thinking. I couldn't come up with anything. The only thing I could come up with, uh, but it's not so much a product, it's the internet. I don't, and I think it should be uh, uninvented. I think it should... Refrained. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and maybe not controlled, but I don't know. I think they just created something something incredibly big and just let it loose like kind of like Frankenstein you know it's like it, it's something that if you use well it could be like yeah something amazing like Frankenstein he could l lift a lot of uh, heavy things uh, he didn't have to eat stuff like that you know like he would be the, the, the super worker but instead in the movie he just goes out on a rampage so it's kind, kind of like the, the same thing for me like the internet's something so amazing and 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 that happens. The internet happens. You you heard about the Microsoft's uh, AI, right? Twitter yeah. AI. Yeah. The fuck. Yep. That's why we can't have good things. <laughs> yeah. Un un undoubtedly, <laughs> undoubtedly, it's um, you know, the, it, every technology has pros and cons. <laughs> <laughs> um, we always we all we have this uh, utopian view that you know if we're creating something it ha it's going to be good, and that's great, but it also there's a bunch of people who are, you know, uh, you know they they got nothing else to do with their minds, than just think up about how to fuck up things, so um, like the AI example, I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's people know, were just fucking with it. Yeah, it's it's funny because I've I've recently been been. Talking with uh, with people about particular that 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 subject about uh, you know AI. AI and bots, I was I'm actually you know in the beginning stages of 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 creating one myself um, for a particular very particular use case and uh, the fact that that happened was to me like okay so <laughs> like, I, mean, I mean I'm not surprised that that people would teach an AI to to act like a fucking jerk but. <laughs> But see, that's in that's that's a a case study, right? That's a case study. Um, you know, I, while doing research for this topic, um, it wasn't it wasn't hard to find people say that a technology they they would uninvent is Facebook. Um, <laughs> I mean, particularly the newsfeed. Why the newsfeed? For what? Do you know what the newsfeed is, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so why the newsfeed? Because it's a Endless stream of, of nonsense and trivial shit, right? And fakery. And fakery and 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 whatnot and you know all this is is, you know I remember when the news feed first came up. It came up on 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 friend feed. Mm -hmm. So so friend feed was a, a, a product pre uh, Facebook. So Facebook bought bought friend feed for that feed exactly the real-time okay, feed okay, okay. so that's how it happened but but at the beginning and I remember because I was a user of friend feed it was freaking awesome right you can see the possibilities you know pe people sharing uh, and that's that's what happens with with the beginning with most technologies a lot of people take up on it and a lot of good comes out of it but once it, it goes to the mainstream <laughs> it becomes you know everybody has their hands on it and it's just endless and endless crap and that's the main problem with this stuff. Um, with everything. Yeah. Instagram. That's what happens Twitter. with these things. But why? Because, number one, because of, of capital um, capital interest. I mean, how do you make money off of this shit? And that's when, that's what crap, yeah, that's what, you know, gives birth to crap. I mean, that's really how what happens. And, you know, another technology that should be uninvented where people are saying, um, I'm not really sure, but that's, this one is email. <laughs> For, why? Um... 
Well, see, the, the thing is that at the beginning you think, oh, this is cool. Like, at the beginning, every technology, everything's cool. But once it, it goes off to everybody, um, it's like, like, why would people not like email? One, spam. <laughs> Two, it becomes part of your daily day of communication. Endless streams of email. So it becomes more of an annoyance. <laughs> but that, that, for me, is more like a, you don't know how to manage your stuff. Yeah, because I don't have that problem. No, me neither. I mean, I get emails, but, you know, I'm, I'm always been very, um, like, like, what was it, like seven, eight years ago, I made the decision that I wasn't going to use paper anymore. <laughs> All digital stuff. So I saved myself from email a long time ago. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. So for me, it was, it's not even an issue. But well, for a lot of people, and this, this is why you got to look at it this way, the mainstream is most people. So most people are going to have these issues with these things, right? <laughs> They're the ones going to say, I don't want this anymore, or this is crap. <laughs> but for, for people who like to start things off or like the beginnings of things like us, I mean, we, we kind of look at it differently because we don't have so many issues with them. We're more like, I mean, uh, we, we evolve or we jump to something new already <laughs> when, that, when that's becoming a crap piece of crap, right? Yeah. So we don't, we don't mess around with it. We don't, we don't get annoyed by it. Another thing that people were saying that should be uninvented is um, automated phone calls. Um, <laughs> why? Because how many times have you gotten a call from something that appears to be a human when in reality it's you know computerized boys just bugging you for <laughs> for whatever, right? <laughs> and this is this is the stuff that people don't like. But again, but is that considered a technology or is that like a? It is <laughs> automated phone systems. I have right here. Automated, I don't even have that problem. I, 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 just like John Oliver says, is this, how is that still a thing? Robocallers. How, I, you I know, I haven't had one of those. Yeah, we haven't. I mean, there's people never. out there who still do. I mean, <laughs> I've had the, the, the recorded uh, messages, but it was a long, long, long time ago. Yeah. Not even when I lived in LA did I have yeah. that, that, those things. I mean, there's there's tons and tons of things. What else is on that? I mean, I, I I mean, I came up with a list, wrote down some stuff on here. I mean, the telephone, like telephone, people are saying that they don't want the telephone, but they want the smartphone. I mean, I get that, but if you don't have the the telephone, you don't get the smartphone. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't get the internet, you don't get the smartphone. <laughs> yeah. That, so, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that. Those are the same people that. Of course, this is a a, a, a wish wish this it, we're th we we're this way, right? But um. <laughs> I mean, it's insane, man. Now, obviously, there's things like, like military stuff, like nu nuclear weapons. Um, you know, I mean, so, I mean, like powder. So Chinese invent powder. I mean, what if powder wasn't invented? Gunpowder. <laughs> yeah. What if what if it wasn't invented, right? But powder gave rise to, to modern warfare, basically. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I mean, it's nuclear weapons, chemical weapons, <laughs> drones, <laughs> landmines. <laughs> now there's, there's parts of the world where there are landmines still because of previous wars, yeah. but people don't know this. Um, uh, obviously they're sealed off from some, <laughs> some the known ones. Yeah. The known but there's all, I mean, there's bits, there's still, you know, every once in a while you'll hear like a story of. Oh, somebody blew himself up while, you know, walking through the forest in some place and he had a landmine, you know, he didn't know it was there. That landmine was from World War II or something, right? I mean, there's, those are, I mean, that's, that's incredible, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, pick your shit up. Yeah. Segways, I have here segways. You know the segways? Yeah, yeah I think that's, yeah, it's. I mean, it was invented, but I, I never. I don't think it, it never or ever picked the, up. Yeah, the con the context for that is not is not here. I mean, it's like sure a, you 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 see it used in in malls, um, and that's cool. And I know you know some tech companies use them inside their campuses, and that's cool. But that's it. It's just a novelty. It's yeah, it's, it's 100%, like a percent It's like a scop skateboard. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if a if a mall security is on one of those and a guy steals something, he's not gonna follow him on that. He's gonna run after him because that those don't go that fast to catch someone. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, like, uh, what's that movie? Paul Paul, Blart. Paul Blart. <laughs> You see the segue in there. I yeah, mean, that's yeah. literally you know advertising for. Yeah, for probably probably segue. We'll put it in there. Yeah, no, I, they fucking finance the movie. <laughs> Here's another one. Uh, selfie stick. Selfie oh yeah, stick. God. <laughs> <laughs> I have a thing where I say that if I ever see you with a selfie stick, I'm gonna take it away from you and beat you with it. <laughs> that's just uh, the and. Is there anywhere on that list Instagram? No. Why? Instagram is like the evil brother of the fan feed and Facebook. No. There is really no reason for Instagram. The only thing on Instagram are, are half-naked women or people with food. That's about it. Or people uh, showcasing their amazing life. That's it. It's like yeah. Facebook fan feed condensed it's, into um, the worst thing. It's ego... ego. Uh, uh, you know, kind of like a, a mesh between my ego and um, everything else that's around me, and, and bullshitting with people and whatnot. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I I used to use friend feed. I don't. I don't. I used to wake up every day and kind of look at my friend feed. That was one of my r routines at that point. Uh, but about from a year ago from now, I stopped. I stopped doing it altogether. I mean, I use it to take pictures and whatnot, to share it, obviously, because Facebook bought friend feed, so I know it's gonna be posted on Facebook. But other than that, I don't really use it. Why? Because even though you follow, you decide who to follow. So yeah, I mean, you decide how to use friend feed. But if you are one who, I mean, and, 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 okay, so, so I kind of get what you're saying about friend feed. But at the, at the same time, like, like most of this stuff has to do with your own decision to use it <laughs> and how you use it. No, I, 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 I think a lot of people use it as everyone else uses it. Um, like, like I'm going to give you an example. <laughs> there is a player from the Lakers who like every two or three pictures of himself or whatever he's taking a picture of, he put, he posts a, a white, a white canvas. So people are annoyed by that. Like what the F is this guy just posting a white canvas for? But he says that when you look at his page, like if you go and hit the URL from his page, you will see that he's designing the layout of his friend feed. <laughs> so it's kind of like a, like it's like it's well laid out. <laughs> so there's a lot of different uses how people use this thing. But if you get into it like like that, like people get annoyed by those things, I think you're bullshit. A lot of just endless bullshit. But if you just like look at it and say, oh, that's cool. That's it. But I'm not going to get into it. <laughs> like if I look at your friend feed, okay, Adrian's my friend. I look at his friend feed, see what's he, what's going on with them. Like that's fine. I mean, I, I don't really care how you use it. <laughs> You're just my buddy. That's it. Mm -hmm. But that's it, right? I mean, but if you get into it, like, oh no, you should use it this way. You should post more stuff, or you should do more selfies. Like people, this is this is the problem. I mean, people. I mean, the other problem is that these things are 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 um, fame creators, <laughs> like Snapchat, um, like Tumblr. Fame creators like YouTube, fame creators, and and that's a lot. That's when a lot of crap starts happening. <laughs> yeah, right. That's really when it happens. But if you don't follow it, you don't get the crap. <laughs> because I'm I'm thinking, okay. So if you follow, if you have interesting friends on Facebook, you're gonna have a very interesting friend feed or news. Exactly. Feed. Yeah. But when you have a lot of stupid people on there, or let that say stupid, normal people. They just start start posting shit that's not interesting, like what yeah. what they had for dinner or lunch or yeah, how, who cares? <laughs> or, or on their way to work or the traffic or I mean, it's or the good morning the good morning um, shout out. Oh, everybody have a good day. <laughs> have a wonderful Monday. Yeah. No, how about you shut up? Motivation the fuck Monday up? or Motivation Wednesday or something. Don't motivate me. I don't need motivation. My motivation <laughs> is not listening to you. <laughs> I get depressed when I need when I see your pictures. Yeah, I mean, listen, when I when I've uh, when I started using friend feed or, or you know, following people, my my whole thing was I'm going to create my own um, uh, Road and Track, um, Maxime and G GQ, uh, the, the PC PC World or PC Magazine, um, 
you know, that, that kind of thing, right? Mm-hmm. Like my own interest. So I started following the people or accounts that I thought gave me that information. And that's what it became. But I don't follow people just randomly and say, holy shit, I'm going to start following his bullshit. <laughs> I want your motivation Monday shit. <laughs> no. I need motivation. <laughs> I don't need that shit. I mean, I, I follow, I, I mean, I will be honest, I follow a bunch of uh, Victoria's Secret models, um, you know, you know, as, as every guy should, <laughs> swimsuit models, I follow her, I mean, I follow them, why? Because I, I want to see what's up with them, I mean, who knows if I go to LA and, you know, encounter one of them, I, now I know what's up with her, I can have a conversation with her, right? Yeah. Right? You never know. So you want to be prepared for those types of scenarios, <laughs> yeah. but that's about that's about it. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I don't really care if they're motivation Monday. I don't I don't like their stuff. I don't hit the the like button under. Sh- I mean, I really don't. <laughs> it's more of a like if I if I was if I was, go, if I was going to Barnes and Noble and just you know hanging out for an hour and you know watching reading the magazine. That's it. That's what that's what Instagram is for me. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. but the the ones I have issues with is 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 um. Facebook. <laughs> Facebook, Facebook is a is a is a big one for me. Why? Because it's um, it's a bubble, <laughs> it's a bubble, um, and people, it doesn't it doesn't um, it doesn't take you in a, it it makes you more closed out from opinions, because you will only friend people who you already know, <laughs> and I get that, I get that. And and by the way, those listening, it's been almost five years since I've last checked my news feed on Facebook. So I've really taken this thing to, to heart. I don't really care about the damn news feed. To me, it's just a bunch of BS. If, if I'm really close to somebody, I will know what's up with them. <laughs> I don't need to look at the friend feed. <laughs> but um, that's that's the problem with Facebook. Yeah. And, and and again, Facebook is not to is not to blame for this because they have to capitalize this stuff. The reason the newsfeed exists and the way it is is because of the advertising. I mean, that's that's, that's the bottom line. But um, I mean, these things should be refrained. Um, cigarettes, another technology, should be uninvented. <laughs> I don't see that as a uh, technology. Well, I mean, why is that a technology? It it is because well, it's a creation. I mean, technology is not just the uh, something atoms or or bits. It's like like powder is a technology. <laughs> um, Shoes is a technology, a human enhancement. Um, there's gonna be another way. To, there's gotta be another way to to say it because to for explain me, technolo- it. yeah, technology is like technological advancement. Yeah, shoes um, is like a, parking know. sensors, car alarms. I see the I see the case with car alarms. I mean, seriously, do they even make a they make, work. make a difference? No, no. There Some you know. crooks might get might get spooked, but yeah. I think those are the amateurs. <laughs> You know, you know what would be cool? Well, no, <laughs> this is a crazy idea. I was, I was gonna think like an EMP. Like nobody, nobody. I, I didn't see anybody mention an EMP. You know what an EMP is? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know by the games? Yeah. That's 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 a military. That's a mili- military have that capability. But imagine that in the real world, and we we, we go crazy with that stuff. <laughs> well, we talked about that with uh, on the augmentation. That's true. Yeah. How how <laughs> people with the robot arms yeah. are gonna be like. Stand down. I have an EMP. Okay, so another one is personal GPS. So this is something people think they should be uninvented. Personal GPS. Like well, what? because people don't know where you are. Like this, like the iPhone, your phones, they have GPS. Yeah, but it's not easy to know where people are. I mean, I mean, if, if you want to share it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but what if you don't? If you don't, it's very well. The NSA or any good <laughs> monitoring <laughs> organization will know where you are. Maybe maybe your your wife and your daughter won't won't, <laughs> but uh, if they have contacts in the NSA, they will find you. <laughs> they will find your last known location. So I think it's more of a creepy, creepy thing for people that to say, oh, people will know where I am. I mean, the NSA knows where we are. <laughs> the CIA knows where we are. If you're really worried about people knowing where you are, you wouldn't have a cell phone. Exactly. <laughs> You'd be off the grid. Exactly. No cell phone. No internet. Exactly. So I think that's that it has no ground to exist. <laughs> Another one I found interesting was Taser. Taser? Why would people want to... <laughs> Let's uninvent a... a Electric chair? Sort of safe way to subdue someone. Instead, let's kill them. Oh, no, there's no powder, right? There's no gunpowder. 
There, no. <laughs> we should just talk about a world where none of that exists. <laughs> Like, what if, like, yeah, like, what if we, there was a, well, I mean, because, I mean, because this is, I mean, if you, if at the beginning, you start thinking about creation from a negative point of view, like the CRISPR thing we were mentioning about a month ago, you what? remember? The, the human, human augmentation, designer babies and whatnot. Oh, yeah. Like, like that. Like, we can see the good in that, but there's also the bad in it because we can create mutants, we can create a bunch of other shit. And that's something that's really like, God damn, like if, 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 you, if, you, if we get our hands on that, we will go crazy with it. Um, but there's no law to, to prevent this from, from you know, creating. <laughs> I, I think mean, it, it, it depends on the people who create it and yeah, the access they good. give to, to... I mean, everything we do is created based on what we see, what we, you know, based on our desi personal desires. And that's, and that's great. <laughs> That's great. I mean, a lot of thing, a lot of stuff was created because of one person's vision, and that's awesome. I actually believe those are the better ones as opposed to the ones that are created by a bunch of people. Mm -hmm. um, but, um, but yeah, I mean, like this, look, look at this physical media. So some people think that physical media should be on invented DVD, Blu-rays. Oh, that. Yeah, VHS. That should be <laughs> uninvented. Why? Why? Those are troubled people. <laughs> Ubiquitous Maybe. video cameras. Oh, okay, I see the. I What's see the. Ubiquitous? Ubiquitous is that it's everywhere. Um, like a CCTV. Yeah, kind of thing. Yeah. It's so monitoring. I mean, what they're really. I think what they're really asking for should be an uninvented is monitoring. <laughs> Those are um, some paranoid people, dude. Yeah. I get why they wouldn't want that, but, I mean, it. it in a lot of cases, it helps the business owner, like the those kind of cameras. Yeah, I mean it's my god. What a what if. I mean there's there's a lot of stuff, man. I mean it's it's just insane. Like I was I was I'm like I was thinking for myself and I was thinking I mean I don't think there's a I mean obviously like the first things that went to my mind were military stuff. I mean, but other than that, like I can't I can't say that there's some something that I would say, God damn this shouldn't exist. I think it's just a matter of, like I was saying, of how people see it and want to use it. Yeah. I think that's really a matter of what what it becomes. Um, like these things, like uh, like robocallers and automated telephones or whatnot, those are outcomes of other combinations of technology, and because of people's um, need to be annoying. <laughs> yeah, that, that's. Uh... I, I think people know, they know that they shouldn't be bothering people with their robocallers, but maybe their thought of uh, thought is the uh, thought process is more of a, oh, I gotta make money. This is gonna make me money. Yeah. So it's it's okay. But deep down, they know it's not okay. Yeah. Just just don't bother people. Just don't. Yeah. Don't bother other people. Yeah. That's it. Like like I I consider money to be a technology, and I I actually have thought about this very hard like if money was uninvented like what would what would happen i mean how would we because <laughs> you know the story of money how it was how it became came about it was really about trading something like oh you have this rock and i have this rock um yours your rock is sharper my rock is bigger <laughs> you, you need a bigger rock you, you break things with a bigger rock you cut things with a, with a sharper rock let's exchange yeah Right, so that's how it became. That's how it started, right? And then suddenly somebody came up with the idea of putting value to something, and saying this is this is kind of like an agreement between you and I that you got this for me, and right. So that's how it came about. <laughs> yeah. But at some point, you know, people gave gave more, uh, you know, put more more value into certain things, agreements, and then you know, monetary stuff came came to the conversation. Uh, but I think money as a technology should not exist. <laughs> It makes us all crazy. <laughs> I was just wondering, okay, so it, it's sissy if you're like, hey, you know what? I, I'm a fisherman and I'll give you 10 fish for 10 loaf of bread. Something like that, right? But I was like, how the fuck do you buy a house? There's no there's no real, like, um, in those times or in whatever times, if you had a house, you built that house. So that would be like, oh... I like your house. I'll give you 
I don't know, one million fish for it. Yeah. You'd be like, well, okay, but <laughs> now I gotta build another one. Yeah. All right, so so let's let's um shift it a little bit. So we were talking about technology. Okay, so what about products? What products should be uninvented? No, dude, just go online and check out as seen on TV, and that's and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's it. <laughs> Uninvent all those. Items. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> Like I, I was I was looking at that question like products and I was looking at the internet powered refrigerator. Rem internet. Remember that? No. It didn't really make it into the market because it was kind of like a stupid idea. I mean it sounded cool, but the execution of the thing was stupid. Well basically your your refrigerator has a tablet embedded into it where you can use the use use the internet from. It's like a browser embedded into your into your refrigerator. Oh that's I'm stupid. like that's stupid. That's stupid. <laughs> The, the yeah that's the, the the thing I most desire is to browse the internet on my refrigerator <laughs> because I spend so much time near it. <laughs> yeah, I mean yes. Um, what what are products? I mean, you, I'm not much of a a gadget guy, but um, I know for sure there's a bunch of products that I mean we don't fucking need. We just do not need. Whatsoever, <laughs> yeah. um, but like my uh, one buddy of mine, he is a gadget guy, so he will buy Everything. anything, anything that looks cool and has no use whatsoever. He just collects that shit. He probably has like a big box full of. Yeah, he stuff. collects that shit. I'm like, God, I mean, what do you use this for? Oh no, I just think it's cool. That's it. <laughs> you have a memorabilia of crap. <laughs> <laughs> What's the last thing he bought that you remember? Oh my god! I'm trying to remember, I can't remember, but but I mean, like people have like okay, let, so let's let's take it a little step further. People who drink a lot, yeah, I for sure know these people would in the perfect world. They'd have a can opener embedded into everything. <laughs> you know, and this is how most bad ideas come from. From people who are obsessed with something particular. Yeah, so I mean most of these things come up come about from, you know, people who are obsessed with one particular thing, like you know, beer drinkers. I mean, they want to put current can openers in everything. <laughs> so I mean, and you might think it's funny when you see like images on around social media of some stupid invention and you think oh that's so funny but you know in terms of execution that's that's like uh you know whatever um <laughs> you know w you know w i was i was i was remembering then that you know when when i do brainstorms um a key question that i that i put put forth in every brainstorm is how could we deliberately create something that sucks Right, so you start off in that avenue. <laughs> so you know where not to go. Exactly. <laughs> Let's not do crap. <laughs> right. Let's avoid the crap. So you get those I those ideas out of the way, and sure they're gonna they're gonna be funny. Uh, most of them will not be useful, and that takes you on the avenue of, you know, find the ones that will. But um, <laughs> you know, other technologies that. Uh, and we we touched upon these a little bit on the, you know, the smart drugs episode, um, like those things. Those are technologies. Yeah, it's technology. Um, you know, brain enhancements, all these things. Um, you know, like I said on that on that episode. I mean, we have, we have the, all the chemicals in our in our bodies, to optimize ourselves. <laughs> We do. We have those, so we don't really need these these things. Um, but you know, that's such as such as the world, <laughs> and such as the people who adopt these things, that fall prey to bullshit, <laughs> and um, and start using these things. Um, I mean, do we need antidepressants like those things? Do we really need those? Like I, I don't know. Like, I mean, like I'm I'm not this. I, I don't I don't have. I'm not. I'm not the depressive type, so I don't know. I don't really know. I know people who are depressive, 
and I've had encounters with them, and I'd never, you know, went to the way of saying, oh, you should take some of these shit, right? Like, like, but that's a very difficult problem to understand um, if you don't, if you don't have that. I think the deal with that is, a, a, they have like a chemical imbalance in their head. It's, it's not. So they need, they yeah, need the damn chemicals. Yeah. They need those things. Yeah. It's not like, oh, he's very depressive. It's not an attitude thing. Yeah. It's not an attitude thing. That's what I know and understand about that. But I mean, I'm not a psychologist or anything like that. But yeah, I mean, I think there are some things we need. I don't think of myself as a depressive person either. But yeah, I'm, I'm the same. I'm not sure if, if I, I mean, I could be like, oh, you're depressed. Don't be depressed. Yeah. Life is great. You, you it's your you, attitude and all yeah, this shit. You need a hobby. You need blah, blah, blah. You need that. And your life is going to change. But some people are like, no, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be anything. I don't want to yeah. have a hobby. I don't, I don't like Bitches, anything. You just want to hide in your room. Yeah. <laughs> get, un get under a rock or whatever. Not engage with the world. But yeah, I mean, I don't, yeah, I mean, there's certain things that are like, damn, I mean, it's just, it's not, I mean, it's, it's more of a trying to understand it. Like, uh, there, here's another one that somebody mentioned was 24 hour cable news. <laughs> I, I, I bet you they're thinking about CNN. Um, <laughs> like, I have no issues with that one. I don't know why you should, I mean, if you have advertising 24 hours, 24 seven, then I have issues with that. But if it's just, I mean, if it's a rolling over of the same news, then I get it where you would be annoyed. But uh, again, just switch, the, switch the channel. <laughs> yeah. I mean, just do that. I mean, just do that. I mean, I don't know. I'm trying to think something. I mean, other, other things that I think we should. Why manage. hasn't anybody come up with a, with an all commercial channel? I don't know. And you could just put up like commercials from every era. That'd be like a novelty thing. It'd be fun. I'd like to see a few commercials from the sixties. See what was up. I mean, I could check them out on YouTube, but it's gonna, I'd rather just put on, <laughs> put it on TV. Just sit there and watch commercials for hours. Um, <laughs> I know I, there was one survey that I read where somebody did say that like you, the internet should not should be uninvented, um, but again, it's it's not really the internet that should be an invent, uninvented. I think it's more of the way it's it's idiotic. It's mankind. It, it, idiotic, stupid shit that people do with the internet, like like uh, programming an AI to <laughs> to be a fucking jerk. I mean, this, that was like for the guys who invented that and that's research. That that's research. Yeah, it's research, and and. Uh, and they wanted to see if, if this could learn, like interacting they, with people. I, and I'm not, I won't be surprised. I don't. I don't recall them saying this, but I wouldn't be surprised that if they when they were brainstorming some of the things that could happen with this thing, that was one of the things that they anticipated happening. Um, I'm, I I I mean I'm certain that was a conversation that they have. I'm not surprised. They, they shouldn't be. If they are surprised by this, I mean then. What the hell are they doing? <laughs> yeah, there's probably one guy before um, they launched that was like, yeah. guys, like some of this trust stuff's gonna me, happen. We sh we're going to do this. We're going to waste our time. They're going to teach you to be uh, homophobic, racial, blah, 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 blah. And some other guy must have been, no, no, no. It's, 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 trolls don't, don't do this kind of things for, with uh, geeky things, with... Uh, with this kind of things, oh, that they're trolling on Reddit and yeah. stuff like that. Like, like I know, I'm, I'm not sure, I'm, I'm not seeing this, but um, I know that there should be, I'm pretty certain there should be bots that act like terrorists, like the ISIS or whatever, right? And they're just spreading the fucking word and whatnot. Um, so this example of Microsoft, that's something to take to, to heart because... If you can treat, if you can teach a, a, um, a, a you know, a, a, an AI to act like a jerk, you can also act, you know, teach it to act like a, like a preacher for ISIS. <laughs> yeah. Or a preacher for any type of other bullshit you can yeah. come up with. Yeah. To brainwash people. <laughs> yeah. And unfortunately, that's, that's really, like, a, like I said at the beginning, there's pros and cons to everything. I mean, that's how it is, but, um. 
you know, at the beginning, I think every technology, every, every, every act of invention is an act of wanting to better something. Um, but there's pros and cons to that, you know, um, that's just the bottom line, but, um, that's, and that's also one of the issues why it's very hard to, to do innovation because, um, the, or to predict what's going to happen because it's, it's really, uh, you can't predict human behavior. It's very hard. <laughs> it's very hard. You, I mean, you can, you can say like the short term, you can say this could happen, but at the long term, you don't really know. It's very hard. Yeah. It's very hard. People are, are fucking weird. And, um, you know, because even like some of these things that we went through, some of these things to, in, 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 in aggregate, they helped us get to the moon. <laughs> I mean, it's true. It's true. Like, I mean, it's true. You know, stuff that goes into nuclear weapons or chemical weapons that goes into powder and stuff. I mean, that goes into putting a, a rocket in space. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, means to an end. Yeah, it's a means to an end. I mean, some one I, I I was reading one where some people were saying that you know if we hadn't looked at the periodic table, <laughs> that would have been a good invention. And I'm like, yeah, the periodic table gave birth to a bunch of other stuff. I mean, we need that stuff to do what we're doing right now. Um, so <laughs> it's kind of like, but. Um, I don't know. I think this is a good conversation to have. Um, at least I know that you and I are not are not are not taking this conversation the same way everybody as, as, as far as the other articles that I was reading or those other conversations. I mean, they were really taking it as, oh, I want to invent um, the freaking tires or the freaking rims, <laughs> rims in cars like like you know cholos and whatnot. Yeah. And like these things, like I see the point in that, but again, people are weird. They'll do weird stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you know stuff that this has no fucking use people will buy the stupid rims you know <laughs> again i like cars but i'm not a fan of the jumping cars and rims and spinning rail spinning wheels and all this crap i mean i don't care about that <laughs> like making my car glow i don't care about that stuff <laughs> i just wanted to run good but people do but some people do again like i said you know it's it's some people will take it or obsess with certain things they'll you know, obsess about that and find a market that will want to buy that shit. And that's un unfortunately, that's a lot of the crap that we see out there. And a lot of stuff that people, you know, complain about. Like, we shouldn't meet that exactly. I know we shouldn't. <laughs> but there are people who will buy that shit. <laughs> yep. Um, is there a particular technology in cinema that you think should not exist? <laughs> um... Yeah, three D. I hate three D. Three D. Yeah, it's. I the mean, the 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 concept of three D or the goggles. Um, I, maybe it's uh, the way they they created three D. In the goggles, yeah, they must go because they give me headaches. But still, I mean, it's it's okay. You're. I think. If you grab like a really good movie, which is a a, a movie you enjoy and have seen like 10 times the matrix the matrix okay. <laughs> there's a lot of them <laughs> let's say you grab the matrix and you make it 3d do you think it's gonna have the same effect on you if if you're concentrating on all the pretty things instead of the story you can't concentrate on all the no. pretty things and all the things going on because you're looking for stuff that's going to be 3d you're looking for when they throw yeah. the you thing. become too aware of the 3D. Yeah. Like, like I remember when I saw Avatar, I see it, I, well, we have to see it in 3D. That's the only way it came out. And I saw maybe the first 10 minutes in 3D, the rest of the movie, I just take, took off the damn goggles and just said, you know, whatever I see, I'll see now. <laughs> but yeah, it, it becomes an annoyance at the beginning because you are very aware of the thing you have in your head. And, you know, th looking through your eyes and you, I mean, you just know that you're not looking straight. I mean, it's just, yeah. not, you t you're trying to pay attention to many things and not paying attention to the, to the whole thing. Yeah. But, that uh, and VR filmmaking or <laughs> VR films, I, I, again, it's, uh, they're trying to create like, um, uh, let me look for the word, uh, it's more of an experience than 
actual storytelling from what I've seen. And I think there's still like a lot of movies that Hollywood is putting out that that are really bad at telling stories that they should like concentrate on getting that down because there's only like very little directors who are actually doing really good movies, storytelling, uh, pulling you into the film. Like you finish the film, you're like, wow, this is another world. I love this world. I love what I what what I saw. There's very little people like that, and and I think they should focus more on that and and create more directors or or have more directors that do that, and then start asking themselves, okay, so would this type of movie be better in VR or in three D? I don't I, I don't think any movie would be better in three D or VR. Just it it bothers me, but I mean that's just me. A lot of people love seeing th things in three D. I don't. I just, it grinds my gears when I see like some, someone trying to do filmmaking in VR and stuff like that. It's, it's not VR, it's to, you just have a fucking big screen on, in front of your, your eyes. That's it. And yeah, you can move around and no, you can't move around. You can't, you can move your head because it's probably a 360 camera. You can move your head, but that's just, that's an experience, not a movie. It's, it's your you're you're probably if two people are talking you're gonna be too busy looking around to see what you can see and what you you can do than actually pay attention to what what you're supposed to pay attention that that's why filmmaking you have a camera and the camera points to what you need to put attention to not imagine if you had a free free cam to just look around in every movie to never know what was happening you have to see it like five times just to did i miss something should i be looking this way should i be looking that way i don't have I don't like it. Um, so, you know, I was thinking of, about something else, but again, I, 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 I come to the same conclusion. Like, because um, I'm a car fanatic, so there's a lot of stuff that that's being created for cars that uh, yeah, they potentially put you in trouble. Um, like the whole idea of putting, and we all like these movies, The Fast and Furious, uh, but putting Nas on a car, <laughs> right? I mean, is that bad or what? It's amazing. It's a crazy idea. That's fine. That's cool, but in the wrong hands, <laughs> right? Um, but again, I mean, it's 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 cool. I mean, it's cool. I mean, I just. I, I, you know, again, I come back to the same thing I was saying at the beginning, and I said a few minutes ago that um, it's all in how you and we look at these things. I mean, we the should, use, huh? The use that people give and them, the way we look at them, and what use we want to put put these things to use. I mean, in our intentions, because at the end of the day, I mean, we're humans, and humans have a um, a desire to push things forward. Some of us more than others. And in pushing things forward, we will make mistakes, we will find new things, and that's how discovery is done, that's how we push, you know, push, you know, humanity forward, and some technology will be used for, you know, other, other ways that, not unintended ways that should not be used, but, um, that's my, re really my conclusion about these things. Um, what, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, same. Because there, there, you can create stuff that should save the world, and in the wrong hands, it's gonna destroy it. Yeah. Um. So, what do you guys think? What What do you think should be uninvented? Um, and why? Yeah. I mean, other than what we mentioned here, is there something else that we didn't mention that you guys think should be uninvented? And um, you know, send us a, send us a message. Let us know. Um, because we might use this for a next for a next for a next episode about stuff that we think should be should it should exist. Yeah. <laughs> not, not should not should go you know go away. Um, but uh, that's it. Right. Yeah. That's it. All right, guys. Well, have a good one. Let us know what's up, and um, we'll talk to you next week. Bye. Bye.